In this video, I will show you how to install Ubuntu ARM64 Desktop Edition on Apple Silicon Macs like M1, M2, M3, and M4 using VirtualBox. With VirtualBox, you can now run Ubuntu inside a virtual machine on any Apple Silicon Mac. For demonstration, I used Apple MacBook Air with M1 chip in the video. The procedure is the same for any Mac. To install Ubuntu on Apple Silicon, you will need to reserve at least 40 GB of free space on macOS. Then go to this link using a web browser and click the download button. Now as of this video, VirtualBox 7.1.4 is the latest version available. If you have an Intel Mac, you can download the x86 version of VirtualBox for Apple Silicon Macs make sure to download the ARM64 version. While it's downloading in the background, open the second link, scroll down and select ARM architecture and download the Ubuntu 2410 Server Edition for ARM. You can also use Ubuntu 2404 LTS. Once both files are downloaded, place them on your computer for easier navigation. Now double click the VirtualBox DMG file, then double click the PKG icon to start the installer. Click continue, select install for all users on this computer, then click install. Now enter your admin password to proceed. After installation, you can choose to move the DMG file to the trash. Now open Finder, go to the Applications folder, find VirtualBox and open it. Since Apple Silicon Macs are based on the ARM architecture, you can only create ARM64 virtual machines. Now it's time to create a new virtual machine for Ubuntu. Click the New button, name the virtual machine, and select the folder location where VM files will be stored. Import the Ubuntu ARM64 ISO file, set the type to Linux, and the subtype to Ubuntu. For the version, choose Ubuntu ARM64 bit, then tick the option to skip unattended installation. Then select Hardware, allocate RAM and CPU cores for the Ubuntu virtual machine. I'm using 4 GB of RAM out of 8 GB and 4 CPU cores out of 8 for better performance. Next, select hard disk and allocate at least 30 GB of storage. Click finish. Now, as you can see, we have done creating the Ubuntu virtual machine. To optimize performance, select the VM, click on settings. Now under the display, increase the video memory to the maximum and keep the graphics controller as VMSVGA. Do not enable 3D acceleration as it's not yet supported on Apple Silicon Max. Then I'm gonna set the rest of the options as default. And click OK to save the settings. Now the VM is ready to start, click start. Then click inside the virtual machine window. Now use the arrow keys to select try or install Ubuntu and press the enter key to boot into the live setup. If the VM window is very small, go to view and select skilled mode and double click the windows title bar to maximize. Now you can see a text-based user interface. Now use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the options and press enter key to make a selection. Now select the system language, then select your keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as default. Now choose the first option that is Ubuntu base server for the installation and click on done. Then for the network configuration, leave it as default. And the same goes for the proxy configuration. 
Now wait for a few seconds to fetch the Ubuntu mirrors and choose Done. Then select the entire disk to wipe the virtual drive. This is the file system summary and the partitions it's going to make and choose Done. You will see this message, everything will be formatted. Don't worry, it won't wipe anything on macOS. Choose to continue to accept the changes. Then create a profile by providing your name, username, server name and password. It's recommended to keep the name and username as same. Then click on Done. You can choose to install the SSH server to enable secure remote access to your server. Then click on Done. Now the Ubuntu server installation will start. It may take a few minutes, so please be patient. Once the installation is complete, reboot the virtual machine. When you see this message, press the Enter key to unmount the Ubuntu ISO file and boot into the Ubuntu command line interface. Now go ahead and log in with your username and password that we created earlier. And voila, now you can see the prompt has changed. The first thing to do after setting up the Ubuntu server is to update the system. Now go ahead and enter the following command to retrieve the latest package information from the sources and upgrade all the packages. Since we chose to use the Ubuntu server that comes without GUI, so it's time to install the GNOME desktop environment which provides a user interface. To do so, first type this command to set up task SEL. Once it's done, type this command to set up the Ubuntu desktop. Now this is a very big package and requires internet to download. So make sure your host OS or Mac OS is connected to faster Wi-Fi. Now setting up GNOME Desktop may take around 30 to 40 minutes. So please be patient and do not interrupt your Mac. It's recommended to connect to the power source while it's setting up the desktop environment. Once done, reboot the VM and disable the scaled mode. If the UI doesn't fit the screen resolution, we will fix that in a moment. To enable full screen resolution and better functionality, we can install VirtualBox guest additions. Now go ahead, open the terminal and type this command to install the required packages. In the menu bar, select Devices, choose Insert Guest Editions. Once it's mounted, open the File Manager and you will see a CD icon on the sidebar. Click on it, copy all the files and paste them into the Documents directory. Then open the terminal and navigate to the Documents directory by running this command, the type ls, and you can see all the files we copied. We need to install this file to enable all the extra features of the virtual box. 
To do so, change the permissions to this file by running this command. Now if I type ls again, this time you can see the file color has changed and is ready to be executed. Then type this command to execute the package. And that's it, guest edition support is added to the Ubuntu virtual machine. Now restart the VM to apply these changes. If the UI is too small for you, you can enable display scaling. Just go ahead and press Command plus F to enter full screen mode. Then go to Settings, Display and set the scale value to 200% and Apply. Now keep in mind that you will need to adjust the scale each time the VM reboots. Since VirtualBox on Apple Silicon lacks 3D acceleration, animations and transitions may appear choppy. It currently relies on software rendering instead GPU rendering. However, Ubuntu runs good overall with no major issues on Apple Silicon Macs. I also tested some applications like VS Code and they worked fine. As a bonus part of the video, in case you dislike Ubuntu and decide to remove it, first turn off the Ubuntu VM. Then using the VirtualBox main user interface, right click on the VM and choose delete. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can install Ubuntu on Apple Silicon Macs using VirtualBox for free. Let me know what do you think about it. If you have any questions or doubts, do post them in the comment section down below and I will try to help you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSKRL. I will see you in the next one.